Um, so in this example, and remember, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you how to write this in vertex form, but as well as how to write it in standard form. So when you're given two points, though, the best thing, at least to write the equation on the line, the best thing you're going to do is to use our vertex form. And the reason why vertex form is helpful, because when you're given the vertex, you're given h and k. And whenever you're given any point of a quadratic, of a line, of a cubic, anything, we know those points rep that point represents a point on a line. So it can be represented as x and y. Now, simply, we have everything covered except for a. So we're going to plug in all this information into our vertex form and then solve for a. So I have 5 equals a times 1 minus negative 1 squared plus 3. Do you guys notice my use of parentheses? It's very helpful. Makes a lot of mistakes, especially when you're texting on your phone. Now, we just go ahead and simplify using order of operations. 5 equals a times 1 minus negative 1 would be 1 plus 1 squared plus 3. 1 squared is obviously 1, so I have 5 equals a times 1 is just a plus 3. 1 squared is 1 times 1, so it'd just be 1. Well, it was 1 plus 1, right? Oh, so that is 2. Thank you. 2 squared is going to be 4. Thank you. Good job. 1 plus 1 is 2. Good. That's a positive 3. Subtract 3. You get 2 equals 4a. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. 1 half equals a. Now, we just take that equation and we write in y equals. Now my a is 1 half. I don't need to write in. Um, I want to write in my h and my k, but I'm going to leave the x and the y out because those represent infinite many points. But the h and the k is a special point, because that's the point of the vertex. So we're going to leave the h and the k in there. So that's going to be um, x plus 1 squared plus 3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's how we graph, right? We graph, we have the h and the k, right? Yes? Does it have in standard form? What is it? It says y equals 2 times x plus 1 squared minus 3. Minus 3. Oh, because you put k and 3 is negative 3. It's not just 3. Or k is what? Negative 3? Yeah. Oh. OK. Well, then that would make all the difference. So then you're adding. Correct. Now, just real quick, I don't know why I'm going to this because we don't. Just real quick, ladies and gentlemen, if I was going to go over this, if I would say, hey, write this in standard form. I did tell you guys how to write what standard form looks like. Right? So if I was going to write this in standard form, I would have to expand this. So it would be y equals 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 3. Then I have to apply distributive property and add the 3. So y would equal 2x squared plus 4x plus 5. Right. And all I did was to do this, to go from here to here, I did x plus 1 times x plus 1. And I did that in my head. But just in case, that's.